It's succulent lamb and smoky and spicy with a little tingling feeling on your tongue from the Sichuan peppercorn. Xinjiang cumin lamb, wok fried. I'm Jeremy from School of Wok here in Covent Garden. It is Wok Wednesday and this recipe is from the School of Wok cookbook, page 38. Now classically this dish would be sort of fed onto large barbecue skewers and cooked onto sort of on top of a roadside barbecue. But everything in the School of Wok cookbook is cookable in a wok and I just wanted to show you how easy this is to get pretty much the same flavours but just from sort of flash frying a really high heat in the wok itself. So we're going to start with half a red onion and I'm just going to slice this onion. My onion's going to go kind of just off 12 o'clock because I want to sear the meat before the onion goes in so it gets a nice it's a charring around the edge. We want a fair bit of garlic in this, about six cloves of garlic. Just a rough chop will do. Some ginger. And this can just be roughly so chopped into wedges and bashed. So now all I've got to do is marinate the lamb and make up a quick citron pepper salt. I'm gonna get the salt out of the way first just so I can do it nice and easily. I've got these citron peppercorns here. If you haven't used them before, they leave a really sort of almost mentally tingling feeling on your tongue. So they're gonna go in. You want a fair amount, so there's a good sort of teaspoon of peppercorns here. To go with those citron peppercorns, I've got some chili flakes as well, and this is optional. It depends how spicy you want it, but for me, I'm gonna go for so as close to that sort of traditional street food lamb dish as possible. They like their spice in Xinjiang. Now along with that, I'm gonna add some sea salt. These are some rock salt here. A little pinch of rock salt. And that salt will then really bring out that spicy flavor. And the only thing I'm gonna add to that now is a couple of teaspoons of this cumin powder, so it's already ground up, I'm just going to mix that in. So this is kind of like my dry, spicy salt that we'll just put over the top of the stir-fried lamb at the very end. Now, on to the main driver. Well actually, it's the sort of spices that sort of drive the flavour of this. The texture is obviously going to come from the meat. You want to use either lamb neck fillet, or well, I've got leg steaks here. Anything like this is fine if you're gonna flash fry it nice and quick. And I want good sort of chunky pieces of lamb. Sticking with the spice theme, I'm gonna start with about half a teaspoon of cumin. because I want the flavor of the marinade to kind of work and sort of start to build up levels of spice to work alongside that spicy salt. Whilst we're talking about salt, from like soy sauce, and then some rice wine, Shaoxing rice wine, to give that nice sort of mellower and more aromatic flavor to it. A pinch of sugar, just to balance out all those salty flavors. And then some corn flour, which will help if you're letting it sit in its marinade for longer, tenderize the meat. But also, more importantly, when it hits the wok, I want it to sear and brown nicely, very quickly. Give that a good massage through so that all that marinade is sitting in the meat, not at the bottom of the bowl. That there is ready to wok. And then some dry red chilies. They've just been soaked in hot water for about 10 or 15 minutes. Now this is a dry fried dish because I want it to sort of mimic the texture of having put it on a barbecue. What's really important with this is that the wok is super hot before I sear anything at all. A good amount of oil so that this sears the meat well. Now I recommend getting your extractor on for this because this is seriously hot, this wok. When it's smoking hot like that, then just lay your meat in carefully. Separate out those pieces of meat so that they all get a good amount of that wok heat. And don't move your wok around too much at this point, or at all. 
because I want it to get that nice charred sort of texture and colour around the edge of the meat. You start to see more smoke kind of collecting around the edge of the wok. And just sort of check underneath for one piece. If you feel like you've got a good char, that's when you want to turn your meat. Oh, look at that char. And again, once you've turned your meat, don't move it around too much because you want the other side to catch just as well. Meanwhile, I can start to add the ingredients, or the rest of my wok clock ingredients, to the middle of my wok. Onions in. Don't move your wok too much. I want it to keep searing. Garlic can go in just around the whole stir fry along with my ginger. Quite careful, sort of slow wok cooking or wok searing more than anything. Fold that in now. Now at this point, give it a quick toss through. And there's onions and the garlic and the ginger will cook through nicely. My chilies. Now you're starting to stir fry, just to maneuver that heat a little. Keep it sizzling though. And then we've got our lovely spicy chili and Sichuan peppercorn salt that you just sprinkle right over the top. That's where all the flavor is gonna come in and just wrap around at that very last minute. I don't wanna overcook this lamb, so I'm gonna serve that up straight away. Look at that. A little bit more of that spice on the side, and then a good garnish of coriander. Xinjiang cumin lamb in a wok. Take a little bit of that extra salt, that spice bit. Mmm, that packs a punch. A really lovely sort of balanced spice around the meat. Perfect for a day where you want the flavour. You don't want the faff of having to get the barbecue stuff out. Whoa, get involved. And if you haven't got the School of What cookbook already, this is one of the recipes from the book. There's loads more just like this. You can buy it on our website. If you do have the book, let us know what the favorite recipe is so far in the comments below.